Well, mother name is Chiquita Anderson. Let me say she comes from Chudley, Manchester. Shoot as you. That's where I'm born. My mother name is Chiquita Anderson. The witness who witnessed me when I was born was Lana Anderson, her sister. I don't know none of the two, I don't know if I have a sister or a brother. And that's that. So if anyone wants to recognize me and know them name there, please reach out to me so I can know my family. No matter what, no matter if them broke, rich, happy, vexed, my life will go better for me now. Hello and good day. I have a very serious and an important message for you today. This is Amaziah the Great. So make me jump into the story right away. This man right here upon your screen, he is 28 year old Garnet Johnson of George's Close, Kingston, Jamaica, Walton Park to be precise. One big tree dropped down in his house, flattened it to the ground, and right now he don't know which part to start. As I read, he is indeed in need of your help finding his parents. Not only that, his life seems to be going on a downhill, and he wants to get it back on track. Viewers, China Bada got nowhere. More to this story. I will be right back. Big up great amazement, butch banding and dancing. Take the word on Now, Mr. Johnson said all of this started when he was reportedly given up by his mom in a one place called Chudley, Manchester, Jamaica, when he was about seven months old in 1993. His birth certificate shows that he was born on April 3rd, 1993. On October 6th this year marks the 28th year since his birth was registered on October 6th, 1993 and was witnessed by a woman named Lorna Anderson. Johnson was raised at two child care facilities, Windsor Lodge Children Home and St. John Bosco Boys Home. Now, make me fast forward to the recent happenings. On Thursday, September 30th, Johnson was on the streets of the city doing his usual hustling to make ends meet, selling shrimp because him off heat. He was shocked with skeletons and finding out that a small board dwelling he built smashed by a huge tree said to be decades old. I really know me never did. I just come see the tree and I said the tree dropping at the house. Um, I really blew it down or something like that. On a rough estimate, Johnson said it cost him about 400000 to construct and furnish the room, which he had a bed, dresser, TV, fan, and other small items on which the tree trunk rest on. Johnson has been living in the Walton Park Road area for about 15 years and was employed by Caribbean Boilers CB up to 2017. He said that the funds he had saved from his job at CB was what he used to cobble the structure together. Well, at Caribbean Boilers, it was a little stepping stone for me. Mm -hmm. But after two years, we jump on the road, meeting a little accident. And they cost me to end up take some days when the contract never gets signed back. Thursday's frightening tragedy left him homeless and really growing up without no knowledge of parents or any family members can be very difficult for any person. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't really want to shrimp thing, I just keep it keeping up enough. So you understand? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to really piss nobody and live off of nobody. Well, it stated clearly that this destruction of his house pales in comparison to the emotional scars he had sustained having to grow up without biological families. He have a message for his parents or anybody who might know him from he was a child. <laughs> Um, just want to say, give thanks to you guys who made me and God. Because my day is here, as much as, as much as I suffer, I have gone. I still live up because I have a soul. What could do? My people, please, the see how best you can assist this brother because he already made previous attempts in finding his family, but the mission failed. 
He is seeking assistance in rebuilding his life, a home, and that family love. He's like, we try two times and the cold, the trailers get cold. The trailers get cold. So, mm -hmm. well, if you reach out to me now, mm -hmm. you understand? And I know I say, the day I see me, I wait for him to know. Him. I lie about it. Well. Mm -hmm. Time for me to know. Him. 27 though, Johnson does not own a cell phone at the moment, but anyone interested in helping him may call his neighbor, Miss Letitia Morgan, at 876-339-0426. I really like to talk about it until I know them. <laughs> but I have to talk about it because I want to know them so they can know that. Well, Mr. Garnett Johnson, I really do hope you get some help real soon. And government, see what you can do for assist this gentleman right here, sir. And all on the flosses and choppers who are do a lot of money pull up, please. See if you can pull up upon the wall and kindly assist this young man with a couple of grand in him and tell them precisely. This is the final part of the news I'm going to have to talk about automotive. So I'm sure to someone to hear about the Tesla and feel like say to the baddest thing. Well, China have something. It's called a NIO ET7. Electric cars and all of that. Don't know. Competition is on. Often, Chinese cars manufacturers don't have the same reputation as those in Western countries. Historically, this has been down to poor production quality and the tendency of some manufacturers to copy European designs. Despite this, China has risen to quickly become one of the leading car nations. Electric cars have been subsidized by the state of China for years. Electric cars account for a large share of new registrations each year. One manufacturer, Nayo, which specializes in autonomous cars, was found in Shanghai in 2014. <laughs> the startup is considered China's answer to Tesla due to its innovative strength and it's already produced over 1,000 cars there. And the story says even Tesla CEO Elon Musk commended the manufacturer on Twitter for reaching this milestone. Anyway, that's it for now. Poetic News Jamaica. Oh, we in a happy mood. Okay, viewers, fans, friends, my family, them, subscribers, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Please do feel absolutely free to drop us your comment and be kind to leave a feedback. Yeah, comment, like, share, and tell others about it. And also remember to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on what's new. Talking about what's new, go and go check out Amazia the Great Collections. Me have whole heap of merchandise, I'm going with a bag of things. Enough t shirt designs, don't tell them precisely. Available on Teespring. Enough people are talking about it, but go and go look for yourselves. Links will be in the description below we have tabs for females males babies cups phone cases etc mr guanga look now follow us here the great collection on ig and like us on facebook if you haven't watched my name is pam before features my sister quality please do go and go watch it and share it as it relates to domestic abuse against women and a woman struggle through it to independence also remember to check out amazia the great music on amazon spotify tidal deezer google play it's everywhere <laughs>